I remember very well the year 2014 when we were hosting the gold steering wheel here at uh, Axel Springer and you got the uh, award for lifetime achievement and I was sitting in the first row with the then very successful and famous uh, CEO of a very big German car company and I asked him while you were on stage isn't this guy dangerous for you I mean this looks really serious he said oh no don't worry first of all the whole idea of uh, electric driving is never going to be a mass market <laughs> sure. That Second, these guys, that a lot. <laughs> these guys in Silicon Valley, they have no clue about engineering, about building really beautiful and great cars, so we don't have to worry. Elon Musk has just revealed a new car factory, and it is without a doubt the car factory of the future. By stepping foot on European land for the first time in history, Tesla has announced that it will finally be opening a car factory in Berlin, Germany. However, this will be nothing ordinary. The German factory will revolutionize the entire car manufacturing process, increasing the speeds and efficiency of not only the car making process, but the car's own performance as well. How exactly will this factory be able to create futuristic cars and what exactly is so special about it? Let's figure that out and much more in this video. The fact that Tesla is actually building the car factory of the future is not just a claim, in fact, this was a statement given by an analyst of one of the top capital management institutions in the US, Morgan Stanley. Adam Jonas, Morgan Stanley's top auto analyst, writes in a report published just last month that Tesla is building the car factory of the future. The big picture here is that Tesla has the opportunity to completely reinvent the car manufacturing process for vehicle production and factories. One of the most distinguishable benefits Tesla is about to receive by opening this revolutionary factory is cost reduction. Using evidently superior technology such as the Gigapress, the company will not only be able to reduce costs but also reflect these benefits in the cars themselves. Musk had earlier talked about the ramifications of simpler and more integrated battery and body manufacturing during a Tesla event last year called Battery Day. He had claimed the company would be reducing investment per gigawatt hour of battery output by 55% and shrinking the amount of plant floor space required by 35%. In other words, the company will be saving a lot of money to produce what will essentially be a superior product. The Berlin factory has gotten so much attention that BMW's production chief had a few words to say about it. Milan Nedeljkovic, BMW's AG production chief, had looked at Tesla's move quite critically, or should I say nervously, indicating that Tesla really was doing something massive. However, I will go further in depth on that later in the video. It was earlier mentioned that the upside of this revolutionary factory will be inculcated into the cars as well. But what kind of benefits can the cars produced in this factory expect? For starters, the battery timing or the driving range of these cars will be different. It is safe to say that if electric vehicles today have a drawback, it revolves around a smaller driving range when compared with traditional combustion engines. But the Teslas manufactured in this factory will also end up having a superior driving range. For an electric vehicle, this update is nothing short of revolutionary. Musk has earlier talked about the fact that Tesla is working on being transformative to the structural design of its vehicles. This will become a reality in the Berlin factory. Musk has said that he wanted to use massive machines, the ones that are as long as a semi-trailer and as tall as a two-story home. These would be used to produce front and rear body parts of the cars using single pieces of metal. According to the CEO of Tesla, pulling this off would improve driving range, save time and cost, and even reduce weight. As far as the processes involved in this factory are concerned, they can be quite interesting. For context, here is a look at one of the tweets by Elon Musk who casually described the methodology employed to produce cars in this factory. With our giant casting machines, we are literally trying to make full-sized cars in the same way that toy cars are made," one of his tweets said. This was in response to a post by one social media user who had responded to an earlier tweet of Musk discussing battery cell production as the process slowing everything down. At Rational Etienne had written, Makes sense that Tesla is taking example on toy makers, to be honest, considering how much fun Teslas are. The machines which will be put to use in this fancy European factory are also fascinating in a true sense. But how exactly do these gigantic machines work and what makes them so different? On billboards strewn about Tesla's factory when it opened to the public for a day last month, Tesla had said it would inject aluminium into the world's largest die casting machines. Following this, they will then clamp the metal using enormous amounts of pressure. 
According to Tesla, 6,100 tons of pressure is applied during this process. To put that into perspective, that force is equivalent to more than 1,000 African elephants standing on the tool to form parts. The factory in Berlin, Germany will contain eight of these machines, with Musk wanting to ultimately stamp out the two main components of the Model Y sport utility vehicles, the front and rear underbodies, each using only one piece of metal. The latest Model 3, by comparison, has 70 metal components alone for the rear underbody. Musk has continued to use a moniker for these devices, calling it a Gigapress. While this may imply that Tesla produces them in-house, it is not the case. In fact, Tesla purchases this machinery from Hydra Group, which is a closely owned Italian company. The technology that is being installed in the German factory will, without a doubt, be a game changer. But what kind of numbers are we looking at when it comes to the car manufacturing process? While Tesla has not yet given their own figures on the matter, Volkswagen's CEO had a few words to say regarding the matter. And it's clear that Germany's automakers are also watching Tesla's progress closely, as Volkswagen may also build a new electric vehicle factory near its Wolfsburg headquarters in direct response to Musk's foray. It was during November 2021 when Herbert Diaz, Volkswagen's CEO, decided to rally his workers for a challenge. He went ahead and warned that Tesla might manage to make an electric vehicle in no more than 10 hours. Compared to the time Volkswagen required, this was alarming for them. According to him, Volkswagen required 30 hours at its plant in Zwickau to fully manufacture a similar electric vehicle. All in all, Volkswagen's new factory will be aiming to produce as many as 250,000 EVs a year and intend to catch up to Tesla on production time. While Tesla is looking to move into an upward trajectory throughout this move, it would be wrong to say that success is guaranteed. It was earlier mentioned that BMW had expressed mixed feelings about the development. Milan Nedeljkovic, BMW's AG production chief, had talked to the reporters at an event last month in October. Initially, he talked about it in a critical manner, commenting that Tesla would not be able to produce everything under a single roof. Mr. Nedeljkovic had said that, unlike Tesla, BMW has never worked with big casting components, and that was in part because this is bound to reduce the flexibility required to produce several different kinds of models on the same assembly lines. However, Tesla's new approach definitely intrigued him nonetheless, as he went on to say that the company would end up adopting a similar strategy if Tesla were to succeed. If it works, maybe it's something we'd consider, Nadejkovic said. It is not just BMW's production chief that has expressed skepticism over Tesla's somewhat unorthodox plans. Although he announced that BMW would do the same if it worked out for Tesla, the limitations pointed out are no secret to Musk. In fact, he had also discussed the downsides of such a factory in the recent past. It's not that Tesla has not attempted to use similar techniques in the past. Cars such as the Model 3 were developed in a similar manner using manufacturing systems that were supposedly highly automated and called the Alien Dreadnought systems. However, due to the massive costs, the move ended up taking Tesla a little too close to bankruptcy. A few years in though, Tesla now has the capital inflow to sustain machinery Musk had been eyeing for ages. As a result, the car factory of the future is near completion. What are your thoughts about the intriguing car-making process being introduced by Tesla in Germany? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below.